Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel where I make Wally content that no really asked for. In today's video, we're doing the long awaited, most requested video, which is my miraculous ladybug collection. You guys always been requesting this video, almost like on every video, anything I post. You guys like, we want the miraculous ladybug collection because I am the crazy rocks ladybug lady and I have quite a big collection so I'm finally rolling around to it and finally filming it and posting it and showing you guys because it's been a struggle just because I have so much stuff and everything that I'm doing has not been working out when it comes to filming this video almost been akumatized I swear I heard Hawk Moth's voice in my head but I'm finally glad that I'm here and now it's on YouTube so yeah I'm just really happy to finally get this out because it's so interesting seeing what my collection looks like it's all put together in one video because I said I only been collecting Miraculous Ladybug for a little bit over a year now I started in like the end of 2021 and now it's like the beginning of 2023 so it's like a little over a year so it's interesting seeing my collection on this video considering that I started with zero things now I have this whole collection within a span of a year so it's just very interesting and you told me like two years ago like because I used to hate Miraculous Ladybug um, if you just follow the Chuckle Horse Popcorn lore, you know that I hated the show ever since this came out on Nickelodeon. Did not want to do anything with it. I thought it was the most dumbest thing until I got into it last year. And I thought, man, this is my show. And now it acquired to what it is now, my whole personality. So I'm just very excited to show you guys. So I don't know. Everything I hear, I did bought with my own money. Some of it my family bought for me, but I did pay for everything. And I did a pretty good job collecting stuff, considering that I missed several years of merch. So I'm very happy for what I have, considering I started with zero. To be honest, when I started first collecting Miraculous, I thought my only collection would be these dolls right here at this specific shelf. And somehow it just grew to my whole room being full of merch. So yeah. And also, um, this is only part one of my Miraculous Ladybug collection because I said I have a lot of merch and sometimes for my sanity, I had to split it up in two because I said this video is getting me trouble. So this first part will be all my official merch, all my display stuff because I have a lot of Miraculous Ladybug stuff on display and they're really cool. So that one I'm going to show you guys here and the part two will be, will be basically be being my fan merch because I do buy a lot of Rex Buck merch from fans like people who do their art, art prints or make buttons and stuff I do have a lot of that merch and I do have a lot of things not on display so that would be my second part for my sanity don't know when the second part is going to come out just because I have to figure a way to make the video cool just, just instead of sitting here holding art prints so yeah, I will have a little bit of that sprinkle in here and there, all the art prints and stuff, because you have some on display on my wall. I will show you guys that, where there's some things that my sister made and I put it on my display. Those are fan merch, but they'll be here, there, here and there in this video. But overall, that get their own separate videos. So yeah, so this video is mostly just all the official Rex Ladybug merch that I have displayed in my room and some other places in my house. So let's just dive right into this video because this intro is already long so the first thing that we're gonna look at is the shelf that you see in every one of my videos so far this is my main Mirax Slate Buck display because it has most of my merch on this shelf and I really love it most of this merch is from Playmate which is the company that makes more of the modern today Maracas Ladybug toys so yeah I'm very excited so we're gonna look at this first part of the shelf this is my very first Miraculous Ladybug shelf. This is where I have my first bits of Miraculous Ladybug in my collection. Here you can see a lot of different things from the dolls to plushies to figures to a yo-yo. It's really, really interesting and fun. And I really, really love this shelf, obviously, because it's in all my videos. So, obviously, one of the first things you see are the dolls. Um, these dolls were actually the first ever Miraculous Ladybug merch I ever got, ever. Um, when I first started watching Miraculous Ladybug, I really wanted these dolls because I was a big fan of the show and I was slowly getting to dolls. Actually, these dolls were the reason why I was into um, dolls in the first place. So, I really tried my best to pick them up, but when I was buying them originally from Target.com because everybody else was sold out or overpriced, 
Um, I had a hard time getting them because they were out of stock, so it was a journey. So here you see my Queen Bee inbox doll, and then here I have my Ladybug inbox doll, and here I have my Cat Noir inbox dolls. I like to have inbox and out of box of all the dolls that I have. I'm just that collector. And as you can see here, my Cat Noir doll is also signed by the American or the English voice actor Bryce Pappenbrook. He's really awesome. Really thankful that I met him. And here you see my signed Ladybug figure signed by Christina V, who is the English and American voice actor for Ladybug and Marinette. And I super love him and I'm super thankful that I managed to pick all of these up. And last in my collection, I have Rena Rouge here on this display not collection. She's my inbox one and she was my first one. Since then, I picked up many, many more of these dolls, doubles, triples. Who knows? I just really love them. They're one of my favorite parts of my collection. I think they're just super cool. And in front of them, I do have the Miraculous Ladybug American version of the Playmate figures. These are the American version because their packaging is smaller and they don't come in accessories. You can get these most places online, but they mostly be sell at Five Below. But I got mine on Amazon and a lot. And here I also have um, a Ladybug sticker from a different country. I got that on eBay. But anyways, back to this. Don't know why I showed that first. But yeah, I have Ladybug here. I so I got these all in a lot on Amazon. Um, they're my second thing I ever got from Ryan's Ladybug. This is the Cat Noir figure, and obviously I have Rina Rouge to go in front of my Rina Rouge doll. And I personally like the Rina Rouge figure much more than the Ladybug. I mean, her doll, not Ladybug. <laughs> Whoops. And here I have the Spirit Halloween yo-yo, which I use for my Ladybug cosplay. It's a really good yo-yo. It's the light-up one. It's the deluxe version. And there's a Cat Noir rag doll. So in front of all my inbox dolls and figures, right in front and center of my display is my out of box Ladybug and Cat Noir. I do have the variant where Ladybug has the side glance, which is really cool. Love these dolls. Cat Noir has sit down because he's problematic and likes to fall over and hit my autograph dolls, which is a big no. And on top of them, I do have my Marinette collection or my Marinette shrine or display, whatever you like to call it. But yeah, this display it's kind of like a running joke on my channel or my social platform just because I just have a lot of the playmate marionette dolls but I'll get into the story of why I have so many here in a second but yeah I really love marionette and ladybug they're the same person love them both um, unlike some other people <laughs> I'm looking at you Adrian but yeah so in front of this display like all the little things I do have some accessories from the costume set from Playmate Toys. I did review that on my channel, but I have a review of most things you see on this video on my channel already. And I do have a lot of the fashion accessories from the fashion set Marinette doll, where she comes with Marinette clothes and Ladybug. Also, I review that on my channel, shameless plug. But yeah, I just have a lot of those accessories spread around. Like this Tiki is from that costume set. Love this Tiki. Use that in my actual cosplays. I think she's the perfect size. Here we have the ladybug earrings and the yo-yo that opens up. Here we have some acrylic figures from or keychains from Japan. We have some of the accessories again from the fashion pack set. And then we have the Playmate Marinette figure. Here we have from Bondi a really cute acrylic cheek keychain from Japan. I'm a sucker for acrylic keychains. This is an official one and it's Lucanette. Had to get it. Love that Japan make official Lucanette merch. And of course to go with my Lucanette, also I could get the Adrianette version of it because you know I ship both of those ships. I ship that and the whole Love Square but they didn't have Mary Chow or anybody else. They only have Ladybug and Cat Noir and Adrian and Marinette and I was more of an Adrian and Marinette stan so of course I picked that up and they're so cute. One of my fairy merch. And here we have the Playmate American figure. I got that in the set as I mentioned before from Amazon. Um, this Marinette scares me because she doesn't have eyebrows and she reminds me of Jeffree Star. So here we're finally looking at the dolls. Um, I said I do have a lot of the Playmate dolls on this display just because I love the Playmate dolls. So here's my inbox Marinette. I have a lot of different Marinettes, even though you guys make fun of me because I have so many of the same dolls. They're all different in their own way. So this one right here is my inbox Marinette. Normal, basic fashion doll. She's the American release or like the more modern release with the 
normal knit spandex legging material. She is beautiful. I love this Pacific doll. She's the prettiest marionette of my collection, and I'm glad she's in my box. Love her. Next to her, kind of break up the marionette thing, but I got to put this somewhere. This is my Playmate 2 pack inbox ladybug and cat noir mission accomplished set. So I'm a little bit different from my normal playing line. Playmate toys dolls because they do have a side glance and their hand molds are different because they're doing pounded after they finish their mission and I really love this set. I'm a sucker for a two pack and it's really beautiful. So yeah, mission accomplished ladybug and next to them I do have the again this is the fashion set. What is it called? Oh, uh, the superhero secret marionette. This is my inboxed one. And I really do like this packaging. Uh, of course, she is the American release. The European release comes with more accessories. But I said us in the USA kind of get the short end of the stick. But I'm sure the, how all the dolls are like now. I know they're a whole bunch of different variant, var variants. Um, and here we have my European marionette, which I bought on Mercari from a seller that made me feel really weird about myself. Um, but anyways, um, the difference between her is she has the original corduroy pants. You know nothing about the original release for Playmate. The European marionette comes with this corduroy pants, which is a little bit more accurate to the show. You know her pants is this normal denim, and she used to have hair ribbons. I have the variant that does not have the hair ribbons, which is fine, but. That's one difference you can tell between this and the American release or more modern releases. And I'm very thankful to have this doll in my collection because I do like collecting the variants, especially between America and um, the Europeans and other countries that get miraculous. So yeah, here I'm just showing you guys the difference between the dolls so you guys can see that I'm not crazy. Not much differences, but there's a slight. I said, mine doll. The European one does not have the hair ribbons like a lot of the older releases do, but it's okay, it does not bother me because Marinette doesn't have the hair ribbons. And here is a close up on their faces because they also have different screenings because once in a while they change Marinette screenings and I do have all of them. And of course in front of everybody I have my two Marinettes, they're my out of box one, one of them is from the fashion pack and one of them is from the normal fashion standard Marinette. And yeah, they're really cute, um, but the one wearing the mask actually has a wonky eye, but I put this eye mask in front of her to make her a little bit different from my other internet and also help hide her wonky eye so it works for me. And yeah, they're really cute. I said all these accessories is other from a set or anything. And right here, this is my main marionette that I want to use for all my photos. She's also really pretty and she has the beautiful tiki bag and I love it because the mini tiki is so cute and I love that she fits in the bag. So yeah, this is my marionette shelf, one of my favorites, but this will be changed soon because I do have, you see earlier, I do have a lot of Adrian dolls, so thinking of combining this will be super cute. So when you move on down, we're going to move into my Bondi Toys collection, which I am very proud that I own. So let's get right into it. So if you're not familiar with Rex Laybook toys and stuff, um, Bondi is the brand that made more of the early Rex Laybook merch right when Rex Laybook was more Nickelodeon and was much more newer. So that what Bondi is, do not get them confused with Playmates because when you look up one or the other, they're very different. I can do a whole video on that, but I also did a video on my channel. So in front here, I have my out-of-box Bondi figures of Adrian Marinette, Cat Noir, and Ladybug. I got these all in a lot on eBay together. I got them at the same time as my doll because I bought somebody's whole Bondi collection. And here we have Cat Noir, and Ladybug, Marinette, and Adrian. Um, they're, I'm very proud of this set because some of these dolls are hard to find now because, I don't know, they're just hard to find so I'm thankful to have them out of box. And I got these two from the same seller and Cat Noir. I bought them all on the same bid. And Ladybug is from a different seller. But yeah, here I have Adrian and Marinette. And these dolls are wonderful. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I do. Um, and here's Ladybug and Cat Noir. Love them. And... They're just, I'm thankful because the people, person I bought this from is a collector, so they're in pretty good condition. And behind here, I have some of my inbox 
Bondi figures. I bought these on eBay, all from the same seller besides Ladybug. I think I, no, wait, no, they're all from the same seller. I think I got Ladybug from the same place too, on eBay individually. So yeah, we have Cat Noir right here, super cool. We have my favorite Multi Mouse, which is when Marinette had the Mouse Miraculous. We love it. Have inbox version of her. Here's my inbox Mr. Bug figure. He's really cool. I just really love these figures. They're one of my favorite things in my collection, especially when they're in box. They just do something for me. And here we have Lady Noir. She is super cool as well. And next to her, we have my Ladybug. And she is super cool. I said I got all of these from the same eBay seller. And they're a pretty good price. They range from $15 to $18. Some people think that's overpriced, but I don't care. I think they're good, considering these are old. And I know I said I wouldn't mention any of my uh, art prints here, but I do have some on display, so I just want to show you guys. These are my first Marax Ladybug art prints. Um, they're really cute. Do you remember I got, the, like, I don't remember who the artist was, but I got these at Emerald City Comic Con. And they're beautiful. And it was like, buy two, get one free. So, yeah. You can tell I'm more of a Mary Chat and Lady Noir fan. Uh, so I have a lot of Mary Chat stuff. That's my favorite love square ship. And here we had the famous Cat Noir canvas. When I met Bryce Pappenberg for the first time, um, he signed this canvas for me. And it was a whole event. And I really do love this now. Since then, I met him multiple times. But yeah. This art print is something, or oh, art canvas. My mom bought it for me for my birthday. We went to this event, we met Bryce Pappenbrook, and it was a great time. So this canvas means a lot to me. I also have a Hawk Moth one, um, but you won't see him in this video. You'll probably see him in the next one. And this is the last print I'm going to show you in this video. I said I will have a whole video of my prints later, but here I have these prints from my friend. I didn't know who made these, and they're really cute. They're my very first Rex Ladybug prints, my mom got them for me, so I just want to mention that here, because so they're on display on my wall. So yeah. And then, in front of my closet, right next to my shelves of my Marax Ladybug stuff, I do have this 2022 Marax Ladybug calendar with all the heroes on it, but it's not 2022 anymore, so I just keep it on Luca, because he is my favorite character. And on top of that, I do have this Marax Ladybug poster with all the heroes on it, and Hawk Moth. He's just there being creepy, like always. And then right on top of my shelf, I have this inbox two pack of the Bondi, Marx Ladybug, Cat Noir, and Ladybug set. They're really cute. Um, I just really love them. And right here, I do have this inbox Marinette sequin one. Um, did not meant to have an inbox one, but I do now. So moving on to the, my next shelf. This is my other main shelf that nobody sees in my room. Because I have a lot of my Monster High stuff here. I do have a bit of Marax Ladybug on this shelf, as you can see. So Alright, so on this little shelf here, I do have a mix of a lot of different merch from a lot of different fandoms. Like, I have something from KFC, but that's not this video. This is Marax Ladybug. So yeah, so here's a little overview of what we're going to look at on this part of the shelf. This shelf is really small, um, because it's one of those inbuilt shelves. We all know the struggles. Right here, we have my favorite Marax Ladybug item. These are official Marax Ladybug Zoom Zooms from Japan. I do have a video on these on my channel. I only got Ladybug and Cat Noir, but they do have Tiki and Plaque, which I'm hoping to have one day. And right next to them, I do have this Cat Blanc acrylic stand from Culturefly, so RIP to that. But yeah, here we have the Ladybug Cat Noir Zoom Zooms. They're so cute and highly detailed. They're just really cute. And behind them, or we're going to look right now, I do have the full set of the 2016 Marax Ladybug Burger King toys. These are the first Burger King toys that came out. And I have the whole set of those. And right next to them, I do have these items that my sister crocheted for me. Tiki and Plague, I do keep them here. So when I walk in my room, I see them and I think of my sister and I love them. So yeah, Tiki was a birthday gift and Plague was a Christmas gift. So they're really cute. And behind them, I do have a Marax Ladybug Kwame box and I do have a Plague thing behind all the Burger King stuff. But other than that, that's all the miraculous. And let's put Ladybug right back in her spot. Mar the Zoom Zooms again. And that's the look of this shelf. And I do have a video on everything on this channel. So, yeah, everything you see is on my channel. 
And moving on down past the Monster High shelf, we have my one of my favorite displays that no one gets to see because it's on the shelf. This is I like to call my Kwame and Superhero display. Here I have a lot of mix of merch from different brands, but all miraculous and it's super cute. So let's just dive right into it. So behind everything, we have the European version of the Playmate figures. These are the European figures or basically anybody else besides America because they have the accessories and the larger packaging and they're really cute my first one of this set was marinette and cat noir and i eventually got ladybug and rena rouge i am missing queen bee and it bothers me till this day so one day i will get her until then i do have this rex ladybug sticker from cold fruit fly holding her spot and in front of all of the figures i do have the playmate Kwame plushies and these are great. I love them. I bought them all on eBay because I know I sell them here in America. So I bought them from the UK, Amazon, and eBay. And in front of them I do have these mashroom figures. I do have a opening of them on my Instagram. So I do have Hawk Moth Xperia. And here we have the Culture Fly Maracas Ladybug Miracle Box Piggy Bank. That's from the Fall 2021 box, and here we have Carapace and Cat Noir from the set. And they're on top of um, Rathley Bug coasters from Culture Fly. They come from the Spring box from 2022, along with this Rubik Cube and this Light of Aquami. And I have a little postcard from Culture Fly. And here we have more Ladybug dolls. Um, this is where I keep all my inbox dolls to either be waiting to be displayed or open for my channel. So I do have quite a bit of dolls, so let's just look at them. So the first one we see here is my talking ladybug doll. She's my inbox one. I do not have an out of box one yet. Gotta order one on Amazon until then I have her and she is beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite screenings of ladybug. And next to her I do have my two movie dolls. Um, one I'm going to be in box and one I'm going to be out of box. Just haven't got that yet. So let's remove Ladybug here and then you can see more of my inbox collection of dolls either to be in box or to be taken out. But so far all of them are still in their boxes because I'm a bit behind on content. So here you can see all the dolls and these three right here are from Bondi. The Famous Bondi dolls that nobody can't get their hands on besides a few people I feel like. And I do have the Vesperia Playmate doll which is really cute. Really love her. Got to review her here soon. Thanks for the reminder. Me. So yeah, here I'm going to pull out. This is my Lady Noir. Um, her box is crushed completely. You can't tell on camera because she looks great for some reason but her box is smashed. So I'll be taking her out of the box here soon. And I also have this I think her name is Darling Bug from Bondi. Her box is also smashed because a common thing that happens to Marax Ladybug collectors when they buy these dolls is that the sellers like to ship them in envelopes. So it's very unfortunate that all these dolls are smashed like this one as well. This Marinette doll also has diamond packaging so I will unbox all three of those on my channel here eventually. But these dolls thankfully are not damaged. I bought these on from a different seller on Mercari. I bought these in a lot. I had that video on my channel. So yeah, I have Marinette and Ladybug here and they're super cute. I really wanted Marinette in box so thankful for that. And I also have Chloe in box which is awesome because she's expensive so I got her for like 20 something dollars in this lot which is fantastic and next to her we have her half sister which is I did not intend to do but I did we have Vesperia behind her I also have my inbox Vesperia that way she's in bubble wrap so yeah so that's the Kwame shelf and the inbox shelf but I forgot this shelf because I'm a dummy sometimes because I forget that I have wrestling book stuff behind all these dolls that you've shown. So here I do have some more of the inbox Rack Ladybug Bondi figures. Um, I do have Stormy Weather. I got her on Amazon. She's the only one I got from a different seller I think besides another one. And yeah I got her on Amazon. She was my first Bondi Rack Ladybug item and she was my first figure so she always going to be special for that. And she is awesome. And next to her I do have my inbox Chloe figure. Um, she's cool too, I guess, if you like Chloe, but I think her screening is well done, and I'm glad to have her in this collection. And next to her, and last bit of Marathlay book on this specific shelf, I think, 
anyways, um, depends how I edit these clips, lol, but I do have this Flutterbug Bondi figure, and she is super cute, and I love them, so these are some figures that I forgot that I had that were behind some dolls on this shelf, so thank you editing me. So this shelf used to be full of fabric and stuff for my cosplays, but I cleared it out and have a lot of stuff I had to unbox or display here. So first thing you see are some culture fly items. These are some culture fly boxes. RIP to Max Lane, but culture fly, they're no longer with us. But yeah, I have the last box and the 2021 fall box here. And then underneath the shelf, I have this shelf full of inbox dolls I had to take out or leave in. Depends on the doll, but here I do have the Cat Noir movie doll. Love him. I love the packaging on the movie dolls. I have two of him, one inbox and one to be out of box. And then I have my out of box Adrian that I had to unbox, but I have his box right there so as a reminder. And here I have my Lady Dragon doll or Ren Ren from the Shanghai Roxas no line and it's really cute my brother got her for me from target that was so nice of him and here i do have my lucky charm ladybug from my friend and i'm super thankful for all these dolls right here and above my funko wall i do have some culture fly rex ladybug items here i do have the famous hog moth figure with a broken hand and the Ren Ren figure from the boxes, of course. And underneath the Funko wall, I do have my Rainbow High display. And behind the Rainbow High display is Mirax Ladybug stuff. Like I said, I have so many. So this is the Bondi Mirax Ladybug action figures. These are the more bigger ones and the more interactive. And these are, of course, my inbox ones. So here we have the Jump and Fly Ladybug. I got her from, M no, I got her on Makari in a lot. And she is really cool. Um, she kind of just have this silicone cup thing that she gets stuck on anywhere. So that's pretty cool. Love her. I said these are just the bigger Bondi figures and they're just amazing. I love the scale. And here we have the Lucky Charm Ladybug. She kind of like whirl around, do all that cool things. I got her on eBay um, from a seller on Texas, which is interesting. And then here I have this Cat Noir, and I got this one on Amazon for, I think, $15, which is good, because the other ones I got for about $20. And here I got that from the same Texas seller on eBay. We have this... I forgot what it was called. Oh yes, the Zipline Ladybug. I sure remember because I have two of them. But this is my inbox one. Super thankful for all those. Again, I'm just thankful for this whole collection. And here I have this Morax Ladybug diary that I paid way too much money for. I spent $10 on this at Walmart, but it's still pretty cool. It's holographic and on the inside it does have like Ladybug themed pages, which is really cool. When now I use it, I will keep it in this package forever. But it's really cool still in a way. And it's supposed to pay $10 for it. And here I have a Morass Ladybug coloring book. Um, this one's slightly different, I said, than the one my friend gave me on my channel. Um, this one I got long before. I got this for a dollar at Walmart, as I mentioned. And yeah, it's really cool. It's just a coloring book that has some fun things in it. Um, I'm never going to color it because that's not my thing. But it's still cool to have in my collection. So moving on to the last display in my room, I have this shelf right here that I made. I have a whole YouTube video on it, and here I have a whole bunch of different type of merch on here. So that I like to call this, this is my other main Rex Ladybug display, is my little shrine, I like to say. So on the first shelf of this little case here, we have a whole bunch of mixed Rex Ladybug little things. Like it has some out-of-box Bondi figures. Um, we have Stormy Weather, Anti-Bug, and Lady Wi-Fi. Then we have the 2022 Burger King toys. And then we have some Bondi plushies. And then here I do have the Rex Ladybug Kinder Eggs. Not all of them, they're just some. Um, I would like more, but these are the ones I have. Found them on eBay, I love them. So yeah, here I just have a whole bunch of little things. That looks really good together. I love the colors and how it complements the shelf. And below that, I have more dolls here. So I have some Inbox Playmates dolls. I have Monix and Dragonbug. Then I have the Bondi, Rena Rouge, and Chloe Bouchois. And then in front of them, on the first row, I have the Holiday 4-pack with a Special Edition Ladybug. And then we have Cat Noir, another one, I know, right? And then my out-of-box Rena Rouge and Queen Bee. 
And then, here's a picture of that so you can see a little bit better because I really do like the display. Those all my other dolls go when they're not on the main display. And here is another photo of the smaller display so you can see because it's so cute and I love it. And then when you move on top of the shelf, I do have the Playmate Marinette Balcony 2-in-1 dollhouse. Um, it's really cute. I add some fairy lights to it to get more pizzazz. And then I have a lot of other merch on here. So I have the box for the holiday pack, a picture of me and Christina V, the American voice actress. And then we have the more cl um, culture fly stuff, like the tiki planner and the holiday frame from different boxes. And then inside of the dollhouse, I have my extra Bondi dolls and they're hanging out. I love them there. They're so cute. And again, the dollhouse and then I do have some more spirit Halloween plushies there and moving on to my last display the one that's not in my room this is in my sewing area or my dining room here I like to say this is my army of Adrian's with a little bit of ladybug and here I keep a lot of things uh, so I have some more Bondi figures and then below them I have all my Adrian's in box and then I have a Mr. Bug in box, another one because I'm crazy. Um, this Mr. Bug was my mom's, but no, she's not here anymore. So I have it, so I don't know if I want to unbox it or sell it. But for now, he's just there and I love him. And next to him, I do have my Bondi Adrian in box, which I am pr super proud to own because he's really hard to find in box along with a lot of the other Bondi dolls because they're older and he's a boy doll, so boy dolls are just harder to find, and I'm glad that I have him. I bought him on Macari, and this is Cat Noir. This is my Bondi inbox one. I actually got him on Amazon a few months ago, and he was only $15. It was really weird, but I'm glad I got him. It was not a scam. And in front, I do have my Out of Box Cataclysm Cat Noir. Um, he's the one I box on my channel, and then right next to them, I have my Reversible Secret Marinette doll. Unfortunately, this one has more of the newer face mold, which I'm still not the biggest fan of. I do prefer the older face mold when it comes to Playmates, but she's still cute. And of course, behind her and next to her, I do have my Reversible Secrets Adrian in box. Um, my brother gave him to me when I was sad, so that was really nice of him so I love him and then next to him I do have my inbox Adrian playmate doll um I, I have a like a weird relationship with these dolls just because every time I get an inbox Adrian playmate one his box is always damaged but at least this one's box the uh, front looks good so here's the overview of my army and soon these will be combined with my marinette shell so I'm sorry about that and again I have a aqua bug figure in box um, I got it on Amazon for $5. Can't believe that this is Amazon. Crazy. And here I have a spare of the inbox Bondi Ladybug figure. Again, she was my mom's, but now it's fine. And I don't know what to do with her, but I do keep her just because I have a lot of memories. So, that's all the items that I have on my display. You guys can finally see all my Mirage Ladybug displays until I make another one. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. So yeah, this is the end of part one. Uh, where we show you guys all the official Mirage Ladybug stuff with a few fan items here and there. So, if you want to see all my fan related items that I buy from conventions or just local artists. I will show you that in my part two video. I don't know when that video will come out to be honest just because a lot of my fan stuff is not on display and also going to show you guys stuff that's also not on display because I do have stuff floating around my house so until I find some way to make that video interesting this is what you guys get and I hope you liked it because I did put a lot of effort into filming this video and guys seeing the full glory of all my displays so let me know which one was your favorite display of mine and let me know what was your favorite merch of mine? Like, what's something that stand out to you? And if you have any questions about any merch that I talked about in this video, please let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer that for you. Until then, that's all for today's video. And I hope you didn't find it boring or cringy. And hope you come back for my next video, which is something not for us, but related because I try and bring in my other fandoms but if you only like more Slay bug videos it's okay because i still have plenty coming and i said part two of this collection video will come out it can either come out soon or the next couple of weeks i don't know but i still hope you come back and watch my channel until then um bug out